Yeah. We here with Shanoi this morning here. About to go start a little repair. Fiberglass repair if you can see over there. A little fiberglass repair. This is Jamal's Bedford dinghy this morning. We are about to do some grass in here this morning inside here. You understand? Um, it's like my fifth day on the job of glassing. So the glassing is really a, is the captain's role. As I don't really like to do too much of glassing, sanding and stuff like that, get to your eyes and stuff like that. But if you got the right costume, you can do this job here the right way. You understand? But we're gonna get something going this morning to show you guys how fiberglass and go about and how you can better yourself, even be better than us. You understand? Because each one teach one. You understand? Yeah. So we got the captain behind the phone right now. We're gonna hear more from him as we go on this morning. <laughs> So yeah, this is the owner slash Heineken drinker, Mr. Jamal Bedford. And what we are doing right now, this is a carib. And what happened with the carib, it had a water tank and it had some stringers. But the stringers, them, they didn't have anything inside. They were just basically fiberglass molded. So what happened? They let go from the transom and the transom rot in the way. So the engine was doing this on the back of the on the back of the boat. So what we did now, what what we did now, we took out all the old wood, we took out the water tank, we took out we took out the stringers, and what we are going to do now, because the floor is so light, we are going to put one chap strand and two layers of biax and what we're gonna put it all over the floor and we're gonna put it a little bit forward so we could get a little more strength and so what, jamal yes. for the people that, that don't know what's a strap stand explain to them better so they can know what you're talking about and the biax and everything so they can know well basically just follow me to my workshop and let me show you exactly what is chapstrand biax and what we are going to do walk, walk with me walk with me if you can see this is my workstation yeah Look you at, move on wheels yeah mobile i have my generator i have my respirator you need you need you can't be doing this walk without something like this to protect you from the fumes because it is very nasty. Have my have my box with my material already cut. So follow me again. Now for you, for, for those who do not know. Y'all might call it something different in your country, but on Tatola, we call this chap strand, and it's basically the thin one, which is which breaks away very easily. It it might not look like much, but when you put this down first, it adheres better when you're with the biax. When you put the biax down alone. It more easier for the biax to lift because water is stronger than anything. It gets in everything. So it's easier to put the chap strand first and then put the biax because it's extra is not really extra strength, but it adheres better. So yeah, this is the biax, which is the stronger, which is the stronger, and you call it biax because it goes two directions it goes this way and it goes that way if it goes another way you will call that triax but this one here this is biax 
So yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll put in two layers. We'll put in one layer of this and two layers of this on everything on that. Yeah. So stay tuned for the rest and we'll let you know when we we'll start working. We'll keep you informed so that you'll yeah. be here every step of the way and we'll get this done together. Exactly.